Howdy guys, I'm Fellow 8 your favorite Wolf Girl enthusiast, here with an actual Wolf Girl for once this time, uh, for a little bit of a different video today. So, this is a gacha game that I used to play called Dengeki Bunko Crossing Void, uh, and I still think it's a really fun game, I still enjoy it quite a bit, but I haven't been playing it as much, it's one sort of, um, in some ways fallen to the wayside for me. But I still have it, I, uh, I have Holo here, of course, she is, um, without question one of my favorite characters in all of anime and all of manga and light novel and all this stuff um and yeah so she's on banner today essentially she's summonable today and i figured i would go ahead and use what tickets i do have from the time that i ha built tickets up from where i left off and we would just see if we can get a holo now for a little bit of backstory as i go and gather some of these materials i actually have holo two merges away from max uh, I only need two more copies before she is at her complete peak for that game. There's another ticket. That's awesome. Uh, there's only one more copy that needs to be pulled before I can just use other materials to upgrade her to her max level. And if I could do that, I'd be quite pleased. I'm not going to do this. I don't need to right now. Polo's in this menu, actually. She gives you a little gift each day. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else? Because I'm pretty sure I have some tickets stored away that I was saving on the off chance that she would appear. Uh, in this game, in order to spark a character, as you may be used to in Fire Emblem Heroes, you have to have 91 pulls. And to be fair, that's not actually that bad in this game. They give out the summoning materials like it's nothing. I got these materials, the ones that I have now, I got them really to no, with no effort to myself. It was uh, pretty simple, actually. Okay, so I've got three of these that I can claim. Usually you would want to just claim the limited vouchers because they're more valuable, but of course I don't care about that, I'm just going for holo. Uh, I've already got her completely maxed out, apart from the two merges that are needed, and I still need to get two more copies of the material that allows you to merge her, but that wouldn't take too much time at all. I would have to play the game again for probably like two or three weeks. Um, let's see, is there anything else? I can just show you my holos, I guess. That, that makes sense to me. And Here's how many I have. In addition to the one that I showed you before, the one that I'm on right now, I have three S rank, uh, three A rank, all these B rank, and all these C rank. The wonderful thing about this game is that every hero in the game, or every character in the game, apart from the seasonal ones, is dropped into the C, B, A rank pool after their S rank banner. Even during their S rank banner, you can pull them as C rank, uh, and that's wonderful. It is pretty hard to upgrade heroes or characters to S rank in this game, but a good A rank will be any S rank uh, without too much issue. Now let's see, fragments. Let's have a quick look over here to see if you can exchange, because I did purchase one from this exchange menu. Okay, because after I'm done, I'm going to have enough of these tickets. You get these after summoning. I'm going to have enough. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, of course, we will be summoning pretty immediately. Without further ado, I guess it's time to try to summon for Holo. I only need one copy, I'm hoping to get two, but I only need one. I've only got 44 summons, as you can see, of the 91 that I could possibly do. I could do this multiple at a time. I also get a free summon, but I, I'm probably going to do this just like one at a time or something, because that builds suspense. So, let's see. I have free pulled Holo before. I did free pull her once. I have a screenshot of that, and I posted it on my Twitter a long time ago. The day that it happened, I, I posted it. Alright. Do not remind me again, because we're going to be doing this for a while. Let's see what we get. Maybe I'll do them in, like, twos or something. I don't know. I kind of like do doing them in ones, because it, it definitely builds the su suspense. Also, my pity rate is super high, because I've been saving my pity rate for this banner. Your, your pity rate... Oh, an A rank of an Emmy. I use her, actually. Your pity rate builds as you go. Each summon adds 0 0.02, and uh, it's really nice. So, essentially, your pity rate goes up, and it carries over between banners. It's like a starting 1.7 or something, but all of the free pulls that I've done over here on normal have added this up. And on this banner especially, it looks like it's even more raised, so that's awesome. I'm at roughly a 3.0% rate to pull only the unit that I want. If you pull an S rank, it doesn't reset unless it's the one that's on the banner, I'm pretty sure. Alrighty, now we can get back into the summoning. Let's see how we do. We have a long way to go on this journey, but it will not be a journey in vain, I sure hope. Let's see, I, like I said, I just need one. And once you get the one, it shows down here how many, how many 
summons it took to get the one. So, let's see. I mean, it's not unreasonable to hope. Oh, an A rank of um, Ryu, Ryuji from uh, Toradora. I actually use him as well. That's actually wonderful. I don't know if I had him. No, I do have an A rank of him. I think I have him at S rank. Uh, I might get back into this game, honestly. That was those those were two pretty. Well, there's a B rank Holo. Those are two pretty amazing pulls for sure. And uh, no, Holo's Holo's rate is up on this banner, so I will probably be seeing a good few like C and B rank Holos. Uh, okay, sure, sure enough. I, I I actually don't know a lot of the characters from this game. They are all from light novels. I do actually intend to get into reading a lot more light novels very, very soon. Right, and then the very rare chance that you pull an item. It is honestly extremely rare that you pull an item. We're above 3.0 now, so we'll see what happens. Pulling an item in this game is a little bit of a downer, but it's honestly okay. Wow, okay. I guess I just get two of them in a row, and now I get an A rank, okay. It will pretty much overwrite whatever else you would get. You, you will get an A rank here, unless it would have been an S rank. Very nice, an A rank holo. That's another one. Unfortunately, if you upgrade a hero from A rank to S rank, you don't get a merge token for them. You have to pull them from the gotcha, or buy them from the shop, or just have the tokens available um, for merging, which you do get a good few through the story. I have three of them right now, you need five to, to merge a unit. And then you get, there's one where you, there's one mission where you get an entire five. And that's the one that I'm banking on for Holo's final merge. I just need two more now. So I could get those naturally. Another B-Rank Holo, very nice. Does not displease me whatsoever. Let's see here. I really hope that we get the S-Rank, because, uh, that, I got her, I got her, there's the S-Rank Holo. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That guarantees, that guarantees that I have a plus five Holo in this game, which is the maximum that you can get Excellent, 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 beautiful, wonderful. The moment of awakening has come. I'm so happy. That didn't take that long at all, and I get a bonus token. New exclusive awaken item. Really? I didn't know that I would get another one. I know that you got one for the plus five, but I wasn't... Okay. Yes, as you can see, I have five, or I have three of these, and you need five. And there's a very simple mission that I could do. I don't know if I have the power for it right now. I would probably take me a solid week to do this, but... There it is. I got her. And we're gonna go back to summoning. I'm still gonna use all of my tokens. Only 14 draws. Only 14 draws. Now, obviously my, my S rank probability is way lower now. It's literally halved. But uh, I still have 31 pulls. Imagine. Imagine we get another one. It would be wonderful. I'm gonna spend them all even if I get enough to plus five her. I will not, I will not do anything but get more holos if I can at all help it. You can't use more than one of a, of a unit on a team anyway. But, uh, no, I will I will most assuredly be only pulling for Holo. There's nobody else that I have a strong desire to S-rank like this. Oh, actually, I don't know who that is. I actually have no idea who this is. I, I must He must have been added to the game pretty recently. Because uh, I have logged onto the game now and then. The past couple of months. But I haven't seen him before. Okay, I got another one of her. She's really good. Um... I really do want to get back into this game. If you guys in the comments below or wherever, if you enjoy this series, let me know. Or if you enjoy what, how this game looks after I show you the combat, let me know. Because I do enjoy this game a lot. I had a wonderful time with this game. Really the only thing that pushed me away was that the community is just not there. Um, but if we could build our own community around the game, most assuredly I would play it. I absolutely would. I really do enjoy this game. I think the combat system is wonderful. It's so much fun. And A rank Silveria. That's pretty good, honestly. I've been trying to get her to A rank for a while. Uh, so now I just have one. Easy. Simple as that. Man, you can summon in multiples too. I just, like I said, I just like to take it one by one because it's fun. Still have 24 possible chances to get Holo. And then, of course, I could grind up missions before the banner ends. The banner ends in two days as of the point of recording this video. It may be gone by the time this video goes up, in truth. I will see. Honestly, I'll probably put this video up the same day. It's not my typical, so I don't have to worry about scheduling and stuff. Another C rank Holo. Very nice. Alrighty, one more quick cut there, but that's all good. 20 more summons to go. Let's see. I, I, I really, really hope that I can get back into playing. I got an S-rank Emmy. 
I'm fine with that. Like I said, I use her, so that's an extra merge for her. Wonderful. Wonderful, honestly. So... Oh, she gets an awaken item, too. Really? Oh, is it just gonna show me the token? Is that gonna be the thing? Yeah, okay. It's just gonna show me the token, but usually characters get extra outfits as well. And that, see, as you can see, that doesn't reduce your pity rate any. It only reduces if you get the, the banner unit, or if you're pulling a normal. Obviously, the normal one is its own pull. Um, but if you're pulling a normal, it does reset if you get any S rank. But in this, it only goes up. Unless you get the character that's on banner. That is wonderful. That is such a good pull. That is such a good pull. Having another Emmy, I will never complain. That's a that's one of the book series that I'm going to start reading pretty soon. I watched a good portion of the anime. I won't say the full thing. I watched a good portion of the anime. And A rank, Yuki. I wonder why... Oh, gotcha. New character, A rank. That's the first A rank of her I've pulled, I see. I don't really care about her. She's SAO. I'm not big on SAO. Truth be told, I don't really enjoy it that much, but there's a good portion of SAO characters in this game. An A rank accelerator from, um, what's that one again? The the one with the girl who flips the coin. She's actually the summoning girl here in this, in this, uh, my, ma my magical index, something about that. Index, railgun, you know. If you know, you know, I'm sure. You're probably already typing an angry comment that I don't remember. But, uh, no, it's it's nice to get more A ranks, I guess. I mean, ultimately, I don't super care about some of these characters. Another A rank holo, that's excellent. We'll have to look and see how many holos I ended up with after this banner. We probably, I think we'll cross two, let's see, we'll just cross 2% on the banner before we uh, see if we get another holo. Oh boy, this is wonderful. This is always the most fun that I have in this game, summoning. It feels, it, the, the system is such a kind system. You, you you don't have to worry about things. You just get what you want, essentially. Um, and that might be why the game doesn't really thrive. The, the pay-to-win aspect is just not there. Upgraded S-rank heroes don't mean anything. Um, unless you're, like, at the top of the meta, of course. It'll always matter at that point, no matter what game you're playing. But this game is not pay-to-win. This game is just good, honest fun with a bunch of your favorite anime characters. If you like Pokemon battles, like 3v3 po Pokemon battles, you'll enjoy this game. Um, it's it's so much fun. I, it, it's hard to explain, because it took me some time to get into it, for sure. For sure, it took me some time to get into it. Uh, it it's There's a bit to uh, understand when you get into the game, but I had a wonderful time grinding all the way up to level 50. That is another thing, sometimes it's hard to grind rank, because your character's level is tied to your level. Your characters can't su surpass your level at any point, and it's so much easier to upgrade characters than it is to upgrade yourself. Uh, you can upgrade up to level 80, but your characters stop at level 60. And it takes a long time to get up there unless you're playing daily. If you are playing daily, it's not that bad. But that's something I most assuredly was not doing for a good long while. Another A rank guaranteed here. We should just cross the 2.0 threshold here. Another Yuki, okay. She's pretty good. She's good in this game. I know for sure that she's good. All of the SAO characters are pretty strong. But, I don't really care. Alright. Fair enough. I think I was going to use her at some point and ended up never doing that. Let's see. There are a lot of archetypes in this game. A lot of different attack patterns. Haruyuki, um... I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him at all. Uh, but I do use one of the characters, Kuro Yukihime. I use her from this series. I don't actually know what the series is, but I use a character from his series. He's the main character, she's like the secondary character. I think it's like a mecha show, like there are mecha characters. And I'm not really into that, but she's a good character, I like her. She's good in this game. She fits my team very well, and that's essentially the thing, and I have an S rank plus one of her. So, we've got one more pull here. I don't I don't really see much on the horizon, but we did get that one holo. And that means that my holo within the next couple of weeks will be perfectly and utterly maxed. Yeah, okay. Understandable. And then you can also do my go as your way to um, summon. It takes 150, and obviously I'm not going to buy any. I'm completely free to play in this game. I will never be anything but free to play in this game. But... Honestly, if you liked these subscription services, $2 for a month, it's honestly wonderful. I don't recommend 
I'm not endorsing purchasing things, but this is a game that it really does treat you fairly if you do decide to spend money. You're going to get your money's worth. This is this is huge. This is so much for two dollars a month. Faye Pass, just get out of here. Faye Pass is garbage in comparison to this. You get more friend points. You get a faster auto battle. Uh, five bucks, you get all of this stuff, and you get this, I think, for a month as well. It doesn't say. It might just be for a couple of weeks. I actually don't know. I've never bought it, and I never will. Uh, let's see. Level 55 pack. I might be able to afford this. I don't know if I'm level 55, though. I can get it. No, okay. I'm, I'm level 54, aren't I? Is that the thing? I bet that's the thing. We'll see. Yeah, I'm level 54. Okay. Well, maybe while I'm doing these missions to show you guys what the game is like, We'll, uh, we'll level up by chance, and we'll be able to get eight more summons. But as you can see here, here are all of the new heroes that I pulled. They're not called heroes in this game, but I play Faye. That's my primary gotcha, so if you're new to the channel, that's what I... That's how I refer to units and stuff in this game. Uh, so let's go to my team building. I will say I don't perfectly remember how to do this. It's been a while, that's for sure, but it's fine. Here's Holo. Okay, and we'll go to details. I... I can't believe we've done it. Honestly, well, I, I guess I can. The game is really generous, and um, I got lucky there. Oh boy. Well, let's see how it goes. I'm just... I, I got her. I did it. I did the thing. I'm a gamer, that's for sure. And you get a, an extra hue, so hues are essentially character skins. I'll, I'll show you that in a moment as well. But there she is. That is the fourth of five upgrades. She gets extra attack, or I think that's extra crit and extra crit avoid. Something like that. New player icon for stage four, as long as you get her. Or okay, if you get her to stage five, you get this player icon, which I will certainly use. And then crit damage up by ten? Really? That's insane. Um... Holo is one of the best units in this game. I think she is... If... So, in my heart, she's the best character in the game. But also in the tier lists, as far as I'm aware, she's one of the top supporter heroes in the game. Her and Taiga from Toradora are my favorite, comp uh, my favorite pair by far. Because they're insanely strong. They're insanely strong. I th I'm pretty sure Taiga has, like, one of the top three most damage-dealing specials in the game. Uh, let's see... So we'll go and do a couple of battles. I'll also go ahead and upgrade Emmy since I have the chance. Here's Kuro Yuki Hime. Here's Ryu Ryuji. You can't upgrade like merge uh, A rank heroes. That's the big drawback of A rank heroes. But A ranks can contend. They can contend with any S rank. And I, I do mean that. It's it's very much true. They can contend. It may not be ideal, but if you're completely free to play and you don't you you don't have the materials early on to summon a lot which is understandable, especially if you're trying to save. It's completely fine. You will be just fine. You will make it through the game. There is not even that much additional difficulty. Like, I didn't I didn't have a single merge on any of my characters. I still don't. These are the only two, apart from Holo, that have merges on them. Unless I have some other one out here that I've forgotten about. No, okay. My Maid Taiga also has one, because I, I free-pulled Maid Taiga two times. As a seasonal. In this game, that's actually difficult, because seasonals are harder to get for sure. Seasonals are typically not as strong as other heroes, with a few exceptions. But I free summoned Taiga in her maid form twice, which is wonderful, because Taiga is one of my favorite characters pretty much ever. We've got Ryuji back here as well. I enjoy him as well. I, they just need to add Lawrence. If they would just add Lawrence, I'd be perfectly happy. I would have Lawrence and Holo together as perfectly intended. Uh, let's see, and then Kuroyuki Hime, I just, I, I got her once. That was the thing that happened there. Uh, Leafa, I just use her because she's a good healer. That's essentially it. So the way this game works is that your teams are built into, um, let's see, where do I want to go for this? I'll go, I'll go and just do one round of the um, Void Expedition so that I can get one more summon ticket as well. But essentially, your teams and whatnot, yeah, we'll reset, we'll go ahead and create a new team. Your teams and whatnot are built into, uh, let's see, where do I want to go? I could do level 7, no, I can't, okay. I could do level 5. I'll probably lose if I do level 5, but that's okay, I don't super care. 
Level 5 is going to be pretty hard, but if I can beat it, then I unlock level 6. So, essentially the way this works, it's like 3, 3v3 Pokemon battles, in essence. That's my take on it there. Uh, and this is atypical from how you build teams. It, it, you basically just choose your best characters and then put them on teams. That's Just do that and it's fine. Uh, let's see. There was a period of time where I used Kirino. Because she's one of the characters you get. And I'm ashamed of that. <laughs> she's one of the starting characters. And I most assur assur uh, assuredly am ashamed of that. Because I her series disgusts me. Uh, literally one of the worst series I've ever watched. I won't say it's like bad, you know what I mean? It's not like a bad series, but it, it's saying something when you're like on the verge of being viscerally sick, having just watched one episode. So let's go ahead and build this, or not one episode, six episodes. That's how far I made it before I was like, I cannot do this anymore. Uh, I really like Coco as well. She's, um, She's from Golden Time. That's a show that I really enjoy. I think that the protagonist of that show is extremely stupid, but I, I enjoy her quite a bit. And then we'll use uh, Emmy and Ryuchi. And then these guys are just backups. We should be just fine. We should be completely fine to keep these units the entire way through. I am pretty highly leveled. I'm 10 levels away from max on all of these people. And then the only reason that they're not max is quite frankly because I can't get there. That's just how it is. Otherwise, Holo would be level 60 right now. So, let's see here. I do wonder how this is going to go. It has been a while since i played, so I may be forgetting some of their skills. Uh, let me just make sure the audio isn't too much. Okay. It looks like it's fine. Do hope that it's fine anyway. It does have a fair bit of a load time as well. That's another downside of the game. But the animations are really nice. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure that the animations are fine though, because I, I don't want my... Yeah, I don't want this to lag in OBS. We'll, we'll test it with this one. Essentially how this game goes is you get uh, ac action points across the bottom. And you get to use those action points to attack. Each character has a set speed stat that never increases. As you can see, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's the order of the, the attacks here. And now I can just show you Holo. Holo has this one attack that sort of fluctuates. If you, have, if you don't have three points, it consumes one of these yellow points instead and it gives every character plus two of these blue points. And for obvious reason, that's great. Uh, there is a cost to it. It's like a, a payback mechanic where you get two points, but each turn after that, for each of those characters, you pay back one point. It's still a net positive, but it can mess things up if you splurge all of your points immediately. But for this one, he just swipes with her claws and she takes their souls because she's insanely strong. She also deals psych damage because I have a psych uh, or a Psyche something or another there in place for her. Um, the great thing about the Taiga and Holo team is they're both incredibly strong characters. They they work so well together. Ooh, it is a little bit loud. Those anime screams for sure. Let's see here. But anyway, once, once an enemy on the enemy side is defeated, Taiga gets a bonus to her attack. And uh, that's great because obviously more attack means that you're just killing stuff. Uh, and as you can see here, it's actually not even uh, one of these yellow points, as I recalled. It's just a point of this, which you get guaranteed. Um, I do have enough to do this attack. And that will guaranteed kill Quinther right here. That will guaranteed kill him. So I guess I'll just do it. Um, it won't matter for this fight. But it's great. It's wonderful. I'm actually just getting a ton of crits. I did, I did do a crit build. I did do a crit build. That's almost 50k damage. I did do a crit build for Holo, because uh, I anytime that she deal anytime she does that attack, you're going to probably get a bunch of crits, because they're each each section of the attack is linked together in its own way. Okay, I probably should have done the other one there so that I could kill this guy, uh, but now Holo has or Taiga has this buff, uh, excited, the excited buff, which uh, increases the damage rate by 20%. I, this surely doesn't make any sense to people who are new to the game, but to me this is just like, okay, we're, we're in business. We're doing very well here. Uh, let's see. So the thing about this one is I could just use Holo to kill them both, but I do want to show you the other attack as well. So here's a pretty fun one. This will get rid of the excited bonus because it's it's Taiga, but it's, it's great. She kicks a trash can at them. 
<laughs> it's wonderful. And then she gets the excited bonus back because she killed somebody. And then if you use her zero cost skill, she also gets the excited bonus. It's just, it's one turn of setup to do that. When, when honestly, you could just use Holo to get the kill. Uh, let's see, healing up. I'll probably do healing up, yeah. At the start of fight, gain shield. Nah, I'm good. Healing up is good for now because I do have a healer who can do some good healing. That is the only reason I use Leafa. I previously used Coco because she was uh, a, like a, a pair with uh, with Kuro Yukihime. And that was nice. That was really nice. I, I enjoy Coco a lot, but I'm not going to be able to consistently win long drawn out series of fights like this if I don't have a healer on the team. Uh, which Leafa is essentially the best one. She heals she heals you and she gets rid of some of the debuffs that you can be given. Uh, things like, I think, a bleed effect, which every time that you act, it reduces your HP by a certain amount, which is a pretty big thing, because there are characters who are literally just made for bleed uh, builds. Like, there's uh, Shanna from... I forget what it's called. I forget what the show is, but it's... Uh, you, you'll probably know her if you know her, essentially. But she's um, she has a bunch of bleed effects. She can stack bleed effects, and she takes your soul if you're if you don't if you're not prepared for that. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm I'm consistently going to use Kuro Yukihime's turn to heal because if I can keep these guys topped off, there's nothing that they can do to me. As you can see, they're they're barely dealing the damage necessary to push back against my healing. If I just use Holo's attacks like three times, t two times for some characters even. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I could use this one, but I also want to save points. You only get one point per turn, essentially. Uh, so if you're going to use these big attacks, you really have to be careful. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna kind of quote-unquote waste her turn. Do the, the zero cost. It's still a lot of damage because my enemy is really strong. Quenther, Quenther and uh, the dude behind him, his support partner, two of the worst characters in the game by far. Which is honestly quite hilarious to me. Because, um... Oh, she got a critical heal? Okay, appreciate it. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. We should end up getting pretty close to the kills on all of them, and then we can just use Dispel here. Dispel would get rid of the enemy's buffs, um, but it also deals damage to everybody. 11,000 damage, almost 12,000. Wonderful. I'm just going to reduce the game audio just a little bit for my own ears. Hopefully it's not too much lower for you guys. I don't actually know how blue stacks is set up in this. Let's see, so... Increased damage rate of rear ally doesn't really do too much for me. Actually, it kind of does. Rear ally increases by 10, but that's the cross skill, which is her special. A start a fight, gain shield, it absorbs equal... I mean, sure. That's less damage that I take, and as such, more healing, in a way, in a convoluted sense. Let's see here. We've only got a few fights to go. I'll probably, I might dip out just to summon after this one, because this is where we'll be getting this. We'll be getting 35 of these, and that's enough to purchase that one more summon. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, here's a Kuro Yukihime. And also the game has really nice graphics as well. I just have them kind of lowered here for the sake of my computer not exploding. Uh, but the game does have really nice graphics. Whether you're playing on phone or on blue stacks, or maybe even Nox. Here's Emmy and Holo, that's one of the loading screens. For a, a good portion of time, uh, right? Okay, so I was I was talking earlier. That was one of the things I was talking about. The reason that I don't have any other heroes at S rank is because um, I so Holo wasn't in the game on launch. She was just she was um, how would I put it? She was advertised. That's the word. She was advertised as being in the game. Prior to her launch, it took them about six months to release the Holo banner before she was actually in the game. Maybe it was like seven, but either way, I did not spend a single summon ticket, a single one, because I knew that as soon as Holo was in the game, I was spending them all. I had, I think, 170 summons as a casual player, just making my way through the ranks by the time that the Holo banner dropped. Not even playing super religiously, just getting on, playing like maybe five, six battles a day, doing like some quests, doing the things that would essentially just give me the tickets, you know, anything that I could visibly see that would give me the tickets without doing the crazy, like hard modes or, or anything like that. 
it may it may not look like much, but it really brings me a lot of pleasure to see Holo just literally rip to shreds the opposition. There is no, there is nothing. They can't do anything. It, that'll change. That will change. Most assuredly, that will change. Uh, let's see. Cross skill up. Damage rate of front ally increases by 10%. Okay, that's skill 1, though. So general damage up by 10% for Holo. Wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get these. Uh, and then we will go ahead and do that one summon. If you made it this far in the video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button. And let me know if you want to see more crossing void content because I, I most assuredly do not mind i can't resurrect right now i don't have anybody dead so i'll just generally heal it's a nice little buff there okay let's go ahead and get that one more token thingy and then we can summon um was it in shop it must have been in shop yeah ah, see that's the thing too okay so if i could get to level 55 while doing this that would be so nice if I, I just need to get to level 55 is the thing. I get three of these. I think these are anybody can upgrade skills tokens. You get two from here, and then I could purchase that pack for these coins. You get a lot of coins. You get a lot of coins in this game. You will never in your life have to worry about coins. You just see a big number up here. That's it. That's the whole thing with coins. You just see a big number. Uh, let's see. I would do dispatch, but I that takes time <laughs> it takes a little bit of time it's not that much time it's like okay just select the characters and stuff or just auto deploy but i don't feel like that right now okay let's get this one only the one remains of course i will do one final scan through the shop to ensure that i okay yeah you can't get them there if i could get them with uh these i, I most assuredly would would but you, you get them with friend points it looks like and this does refresh i think yeah it refreshes monthly um let's see is there anything else? I don't really have much in the way of these. Let's see. I would get this one for possibly obvious reasons right here. And this isn't a summon ticket, despite how it looks. This is a a ticket to, to summon the for these people. These are like allies for your allies. These are all custom characters from this game. They're not from anything. Um, but they're allies for your allies. I have one on Holo, essentially, right now that makes it so that she can use her special twice. Uh, usually you can't use your special more than once in a battle. But that makes sense, because battles are typically pretty short. Uh, and then if you want to auto-battle as well, there is a full auto-battle feature. Usually you will have to go back and auto-battle missions in order to get, like, things, you know what I mean? Like, little tokens and whatnot to upgrade your characters. And it's really convenient, because you... The way the auto battle works is you set up your team to do a set motion of attacks. And those attacks will consistently be in the same order as your characters keep getting stuff and leveling up. Okay, I got one of him. Alright, understandable. Big rip on that one. Let's see. There's not really going to be any more summoning, I would say. I would say that's probably going to be the end of the summoning. So if that's all you're here for, appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in. But I do want to go ahead and finish those uh, battles because I was having a great time with those. I really do enjoy this. There's a lot you can do in this game. There's so much. Actually, let me let me check something really quickly. We can see, we can see if we can do the these right here. You get five of these for completing this mode or this place. And I'm on floor 15, which is the final fight. Right? That should be correct. Yes. If I complete this one more, then I should be able to get... We'll see about this. I think. Right? Be sure to use healing effects, of course. Yeah, and you can do S-rank equipments as well. I have Holo's and Taiga's best equipments added. They're... These two are the only two that I've seriously put time into building. Uh, the rest of them are something of an afterthought, except I guess Emmy and Ryuji, they've been a staple. If I have to replace these two, then I'm not too caught up on it. Like, essentially, if, if Lawrence does end up in the game, I will replace these two. Uh, hopefully, though, he would be a front ally so that I could pair him with Holo directly. But if not, then it's fine. I, I somewhat doubt that they're going to add him, but if they do, I'll be very pleased. So, you get more buffs if this is the thing, right? 
Party contains three characters above six star rank. I don't have any six star because you can't upgrade stars until every two levels essentially past a certain threshold. So once she's level 60, she would be two, she'd be six star. Uh, and the stars are super easy to upgrade. You don't have to worry about that at all. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this fight. This one's going to be very tough. I think there's a bleed effect as well. You're going to see Shanna, I'm pretty sure, in this fight. And I'm pretty sure that's why I haven't completed it so far. Because Shanna, like, like I said, she has that bleed effect. There might also be a seal effect, if I recall. If there's both, then that's really bad. Because there's Wil 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 Wilhelma, something like that. Wilhelma. She... Uh, okay, so there's no bleed effect. No, there is a bleed effect. Makoto, here down the center, she has a bleed effect. Um, okay, so we'll start off with the only action we can do. Let's see here. Their HP is far above ours. D far above ours. These are completely... Yeah, no, these, these odds are not great. These are... Um, obviously not playable stat lines. This is like, okay, this is the final mission before you get to literally upgrade a character. Uh, let's see, does this cure bleed? Removes debuffs that would... Okay. So that doesn't get rid of bleed, and as such, I'm not going to use it. The heal will get rid of bleed. Um, let's see. I forget what he does. If he... Okay, yeah, no. That's a, that's a bit of a shame. Because that's... Uh, isn't it? Hit by lightning. Okay. So that's like another bleed effect. I'm gonna have to heal to get rid of both of those. Okay, I get rid of them both and I do a little bit of healing. I'm not gonna be able to survive. I would have to get back to Holo about three more times. And even then, I don't have enough skill points. You're gonna get to see this animation though. It's quite wonderful. That's uh, the background that I have on the main screen, of course. Everybody gets two skill points. No, they're, they're pretty definitively going to body up on me. I don't really stand a chance here. And then this debuff right here that you get from that. Wise Wolf Sloan. One skill point will be deducted at the start of each character's turn. So essentially, those two. Those two extra become one extra. But it's nice. Um, I guess I'll just attack. I, there's no winning this fight. I can pretty much, pretty much give you that certainty. As you can see, he's, uh, he's, he's ruining me. I pretty much just have to try my very best to keep Holo topped off. I, I bet... Oof, I bet that I could use my biggest damage dealing special here. I probably will have the chance to use that next turn. I, I, I virtually guarantee that it won't kill Emmy. It will after I use this, actually. No, it will for sure. Okay, no, it'll kill Emmy for sure, but I would have to use... I would have to go through some significant effort. As you can see, Kuriyuki Hime is perished. Um... Yeah, and we're, we have a bleed effect now, so it's over. Bleed effect isn't so strong that it's literally just over as soon as you have it, but uh, no, it's it's significant. It will add up. Oh boy. I hope we survive. Okay, we survived long enough to use this at least. Do we have... We don't have the buff, no. Palm top, palm top Tiger. If you're in the Discord server, maybe you've uh, now received that bit of lore. Any, any reference to Palm Top in my server is from Taiga originally. There's your lore. I guess that just goes to, sh goes to show how much I enjoyed that one. I might even go as far as to read Toradora. Yeah, 47,000 damage. And we bleed significantly. And we also get struck by lightning. And we're gonna get hit by her special, so... <laughs> yeah. That's for real gun for ya. 8,200 damage my main unit there. Wild. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to build up and uh, get anywhere on that fight, because that's, that's a hard fight. Be sure to use healing effects to maintain ally HP. I think I will refrain for now. I'll probably end up going and doing the um, other battles off camera as well. I just uh, don't want the recording to be too long for editing purposes, but thank you guys so much for watching. This was quite a fun detour for my typical Fire Emblem. If you enjoyed this, make sure to let me know in the comments below, because I do not mind to continue doing this as a, as an infrequent upload. I enjoy this game quite a bit. The story is quite funny. Uh, if anything, maybe I would even start a new account and just run through the story again. 
I wouldn't even have to make a new account. I could just go back and play the story missions. You get rewarded for them anyway. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed, like I said, make sure to like. If you uh, are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you like donating via Kofi, I very much appreciate it. Link in the description below for all of those things. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.